Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Bootstrap Top 55 Interview Question and Answer Series. This is the third part of the series. If you haven't checked out the first two parts, please do so, so that you cover all the questions and learn and prepare for your interview very well. Before we get started with the question answer series, I would like to inform you that I have a Bootstrap 5 full tutorial playlist on my channel which has around 40 plus hands-on tutorials and live examples and project. Make sure you check it out in order to learn Boot and Master Bootstrap 5. You can get all these question answer series as a PDF. If you would like, you can get it at arttutorials.gumroad.com. If you have any questions, write to me at surya.arad at gmail.com. Thank you so much in advance. Let's get started. The first question in today's uh, part series is, what is a button group and what is a class for basic button group? When you want to join multiple buttons in a single line or stack, right? you can use button group. Multiple buttons can be placed together on a single line using button groups. That's the importance of button groups. You should also mention the class that is used for it, which is btn-group. When you add that to a div and place buttons, they all co come in the same line, they stack up. Just like how I've shown here, div class equal to btn group and then couple of buttons, they all will appear in a single stack or single line. Whenever such questions are asked to you, make sure that you talk about the basic um, fundamentals of it, right? And then you give the detailed explanation of the classes that are used. The next question is, what is a breadcrumb? Breadcrumb is an efficient way to show hierarchy based information on a site. User can easily check which current page he is on and he can jump and navigational usage. For example, if somebody is inside a category and then home, category and page, you can always give those breadcrumbs so that user can know where he is exactly and he can jump to other navigations using those breadcrumb links. The class that is used to define the breadcrumbs is breadcrumb. You can see here it's an ordered list class breadcrumb and inside that you will give breadcrumb hyphen item. That's for each uh, element that you want inside the breadcrumb that will become breadcrumb item for the list elements. You can have n number of items there and the current page will be active, which will be disabled. Rest everything will be a link. You can add that. What are badges in Bootstrap? Badges can be used as a part of links or buttons to provide a counter. Badges are small count and labeling components, right? So you can, let's say you have your inbox, you have your settings, notification, messages, etc. Where you see a number with a small highlight, right? So you can use badge class for that. You can use badge like how I've shown here, button, and you can always apply a badge to it. Here, in, if you see the button is there, inside that I've put notifications and a span class. This will show the counter, number four against notifications because I'm using the class badge. We, these are responsive classes, which means you can add different variations to it inside. You can add all the utility classes like background color, text center, etc, etc. How can we make an image responsive in Bootstrap? This is again one of the most important questions I would say with respect to uh, image mapping, etc. So make sure that you add a class called IMG-Fluid. When you make that, you can make an image responsive, right? What it does internally is it will put the max width to 100% and height as auto. So that, that way it will nicely match with the parent element that it is containing. Okay. So remember the class that is IMG hyphen fluid. All right. Now, what is a scroll spy in Bootstrap? Now, there are, there are requirements. Let's say you're building a single page application where you want to navigate in the same page, but at the same time you want to high indicate the link to be active, right? So it will jump to that particular section and make the link as currently active. That's where we will use scroll spy. The way you do it is you give a href scroll spy heading one and the same ID you will give into the section. And then it will work on a navigation basis. It will update the current link as active. What is a toast in bootstrap? So when you want to do a push notifications to your user, we use Toast, which is a lightweight, easily customizable alert message. In other words, you can also say this is another way of showing 
a notification to a user kind of an alert message but much more lightweight the way to use it is you'll define class equal to toast and then toast will have a header and then the body toast body we can have different variations of it you can again change color background text add utility classes etc alternatively optionally we can also provide this close button to it where it will close on manual click or we can program it and after a few seconds it will automatically go away the next question is how can one create an alert in bootstrap right so this is one of those basic questions to confuse you sometimes they'll ask you about toast they'll ask you about alerts so they are looking similar but their behavior is different they are two different set of components like i mentioned earlier toast is much more lightweight and with the alert the entire div will be primarily appearing on your screen which can take multiple classes to highlight the message like alert warning danger primary secondary you can use the contextual classes like bg hyphen success hyphen uh, info warning danger success etc what is bootstrap card and how do you create one so this is again very very important even from everyday perspective in terms of usage we will use a lot of cards to design our web pages a bootstrap card is a bordered box with padding surrounding its content okay now you can have different different combinations of cards you can have with header we can have with footer we can have content we can have images etc in this example if you have to talk talk about like this create a div using the primary class class equal to card you can throw in an image and say card image top you can have card body you can have card title this is the main content of the card and you can have some card footer also extremely important concept from a uh, implementation so make sure that you check out the tutorials i have on bootstrap 5 in order to learn and master that what are the two types of spinners that are available in bootstrap right now they can also ask you about how do you create a spinner border or how can you create a spinner grow uh, spinners etc so there are two types of spinners that are available in bootstrap mainly spinner border and spinner grow spinner border will show a simple border with spinner whereas grow will come from small to big to use them we will use two classes one for spinner one for uh, border and one for spinner grow you can use class equal to spinner hyphen border or you can use spinner hyphen grow okay these are the two variations that we have in terms of spinner all right that brings us to the end of uh, part 3 uh, question answer series i hope you are learning i hope you are enjoying if you have any questions any doubts reach out to me in the comment section don't forget to check out the ebook at arctutorials.gumroad.com i'm sure after this particular series you will be an expert in bootstrap and you will be able to answer any interview question we'll continue this series in the next part in the part 4 stay tuned for that see you in the next episode